Morning everyone, not one, uh, done one of these for a while, so let's have a look, it's about four or five weeks since we've done one. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, Northern League um, for batting. We've got Shivam Chowdhury with 704, and then the highest score is Alfie Dobson with 143. We've got Ariane Vasani with 18 sixes, and Finlay Richardson and Nathan Bend with four ducks. Good effort from them there. Bowling wise, Matthew Grindley's got 41 wickets. Uh, and he's got the best bowling figures at 8 for 16 also. Uh, and then uh, Harreen Budila, he's got the best strike rate, 19.51. Got a ball 20 overs for that. And he got a ball 20 overs for economy rate as well. That's Chris Brooks, 2.21. Fielding-wise, Curtis Watson of Leyland. I like him as a player, I really do. 14 catches. And Harry McAleer, he's got uh, 28 dismissals as a keeper. That's 25 catches and 3 stumpings. Moving on to the Palace Shield. Uh, I'll do the tables at the end of all this. Uh, so moving on to the Palace Shield, we've got runs Joshua Sackfield, 600. He's quite a good bat. Um, Shane Burton of Morecambe, 128. is the highest score. Joshua Sackfield again, 14 sixes. That's the most. And Joseph Wills of Torrey's home, five ducks. Bowling-wise, Ben Sim, 35 wickets. Andy Hogarth, uh, eight for 32 is the best. Chris Pearce and the best strike rate, 12.07, he's from Exton. And Josh Wills, 2.74, the best economy rate. Uh, it's interesting to note that Torrey's home have got four of the top seven uh, in the best economy rate section. Uh, but they don't take a lot of wickets. They've only got 58 wickets between them. Uh, so they can keep the runs down, but they can't take wickets. And they're third bottom in the table, even after the win yesterday. So it rather looks as if the batting's not strong enough as well. So they can keep teams down to a low score, but they can't get them out. And they can't get the runs. That's how it looks for Torres on. Maybe that's why they're down the bottom strength of the batting there. Uh, fielding, Joseph Wills, 11 catches. And wicket-keeping in the Palace Shield, Robbie Sumner of Penn with them. Uh, 22 he's got. That's 18 catches and four stumpings. Then in the Westmoreland League, Adam Richardson, 676. He's also got a top score of 195 not out, and he's also at 16 sixes. Alpha Hill and Paul Duckett have got four ducks each. Uh, Bowling-wise, most wickets, Sam calvary Hesham, 38. He's also got the best analysis, 7 for 23. Stan Richard Carford's got the best strike rate, 16.5. And Jason Dalzell of Sedgwick's got the best economy rate, 1.94. Ben Phillips and Lee Calvary have both got 11 catches. And Matt Yates from Shirezad has got 18 dismissals. That's 15 catches and three stumpings. Uh, I'm going to look at the uh, league tables. We'll look at the Northern League first. Um, I'm going to talk about bonus points in a minute. So we'll look at the Northern League. We've got Kendall and Chorley, 143. Longridge, 139. Blackpool, 132. Garstang, 129. Fleetwood, 112. And we've got Leyland 105, St Anne's 102, Fullwood 101. And I know you're all wondering where they are. They're here. Tenth position, Netherfield, 91 points. They do still have that game in hand for the rearranged game against Penrith. So maybe they'll get something there. Penrith 56 and Eccleston 43. Rather looks as if those two are, are going to be in the bottom two. Uh, but their relegation depends on the top two in the Palace Shield wanting to get promoted. Let's have a look at bonus points, because the bonus point kings in the Northern League. Do you know, I've looked at the three divisions, and it, I, th I think it's probably about the captains, really. Uh, Blackpool got 31 bonus points. That's way more than anyone else around them. So they're, they're in an elevated position due to the, the team and the captain knowing how to play the bonus points system, I think. So well done to them. Palace Shield, uh, Exton 131. Maudsley 111, Lancaster 106, Carlforth 104, Penwitham 97, Thornton Cleveland's 93, Kirkham and Wesham 88, Great Eccleston 87, Preston 85, Torrey's home 82 after their great win against Great Eccleston yesterday. That's taken them out of the, out of the danger zone. Vernon Carey 74 and Morecambe 69. Worry for Morecambe. Really, really worry for Morecambe. Um... They need a win from somewhere. But bonus points, King. Let's have a look at this. Pen with them got 48 bonus points. That's 18 batting and 30 bowling. 48 bonus points. Elevated position. Really, if they were 
in line with the other teams around them. There'd be a couple of places lower, but they're in fifth there. Uh, looks like if we go back to the Northern League, that's going to be really tight at the top, isn't it? And then, the, But the relegation spots are probably decided. Palace Shield, looks like Exeter are, are up there. Uh, and then it could be possibly Maudley, Lancaster, Carnforth, maybe Penwitham with a squeak. I think that's about it. Uh, down at the bottom, Morecambe are looking... They're looking in poor condition there. And it's probably going to be Torres Home or Vernon's or maybe Preston. Even up to Great Eccleston, maybe Kirkham. Uh, so they're all in it. Um, interesting thing on the uh, on the Palace Shield. There's, there's, there's talks of a reorganisation after the 2024 season. It's not set in stone. It's just ideas and consultations. Uh, so at the moment, at the end of this, this season, the top two teams in the Palace Shield cannot for promotion to the Northern League. No one's ever turned it down, but will somebody turn it down this year? Because maybe people will keep their heads down and wait until the reorganisation uh, is arranged. Uh, so so maybe that's a thing. Uh, Exton, will they go? I don't know. I'm going to guess that they're quite a progressive club. Um, stick a pro in their side, they might be all right. Maudsley, Village club, not sure where they get their income from. Um, are they equipped? Don't know. Uh, Lancaster, long heritage, great long heritage in the Northern League. If they get the chance to go back up, they're going to go. Uh, Carlforth, not sure. Uh, sort of dabbled in the Northern League for six or seven years. Uh, whether they'd go back, I don't know. Same with Penwitham and Thornton Cleveland, not sure. They've never been in it before. Uh, do they have the infrastructure and the income to, to to do that? Not sure. So will teams go up or will they wait until the reconstruction uh, of the leagues? Don't know. Uh, then down to the Westmoreland League. We've got Heesham 185, Burnside 170, Shireshead 161, Cedric 160. It's definitely between them four. It's probably between the top two, to be honest. Wharton 122, Arnside 105, Bear 94, Morecambe seconds 90, Kendall seconds 87, Carver the seconds 86, Holm 80 and Kirby Lonsdale 63. So Kirby Lonsdale look like they're dead. Again, it's optional promotion from Division 2. And the bonus point kings in this division are Holm. Now they've 31 bonus points. Uh, the six points behind Carver for the seconds, we've only got 15 bonus points. So Holmes bonus points might just save them this year, I think. Uh, so that's in, that's interesting from my point of view on, on these leagues and what's possibly going to happen. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, there'll be another update in around about three or four weeks' time. Thanks, now.